what the hell flag is that? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to more Fighting Mongeese Hockey. Already we're hearing from this, this loser crowd. As, hope, as the Fighting Mongeese hope to correct the mistakes of last week when they lost to Washington, of all people. They take their first shot of the game, and it is caught and held by Cougar. Bit of an embarrassing loss last week. The fight Mongies being put into position where they often they find themselves with their earlier game, Superstar making certain that no Blue Jacket manages to get hold of that one. And Columbus holding on to it for a bit. Passing it around. Too many players in the bottom there. What was going on there? Just making sure that the puck gets to the corner. Weaselton taken down. Loses hold of the puck just for a brief second there. Taking a shot and held on and passed out to Fatso, who passes up to Weaselton. Down to Superstar. Over, over to Columbus. That's just making sure that they get a shot with the puck too. That's Fatso shooting back to Oliver. Oliver coming along strong. Loses hold of it though. Up to Dennis Fatso. Across to Quinn. Just fresh on the ice. Attempted shot, but blocked out of the way. Fatso trying to. Could not get to it. Quinn there, just in time to make the save. Shoots it up before being taken out. Good job, Quinn. Another attempt. Well, at least the first attempt, sorry, for the Clayton Mongeast. No <laughs> score just far as Bobby comes up along. Elizabeth. Surrounded on all sides. Columbus coming in strong. The Cougar holds on and holds on good. Just hugs the puck close to his heart. Yes. Made a mistake earlier, ladies and gentlemen. It was not... <clears throat> Washington that the Monkeys lost to. It was, in fact, Seattle. But in a way, they didn't lose to Washington because Seattle is in Washington. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Puck goes high. Just a little bounce step. Bobby now passes again to Elizabeth. I know there's a bit of a thing going on there. We know of certain bits of teamwork between Vic Weaselton and Neville. Cougar again, decks over it. And in comes Gilly Cat from behind, down to Fellbaum. Nothing doing. Puck goes loose. Gilly Cat again. Passes along to Sada. Up to Angel trying to get through this, this damn mosquito wall that the Blue Jackets are creating. Angel finally managing to get through. Up to Gilly Cat. Gilly Cat, bit of a panic. Bellbaum takes the slap shot. That's deflected. Mungi setting up a defensive line. Good job, Mungi's. 
If you're taken down, make yourself a barricade. That's the mongoose way. They use every part of the mongoose. And Blue Jackets coming in, but no shot made. Grouch taking the puck from Violence John. Pass down to Feldbaum. John wants up to Quinn. Quick slap shot attempt. Puck goes high. Now being returned back across. Quick shot. Quinn now. Rollins John skating along. He's got two. Chasing after him. Quinn coming in from behind. And it's held on. As we near the end or at least near the half point of the first period here. Score is still 0-0. How much longer will that take until we see that one in the red? And then the two. And then maybe the 15. Whiskers to McWeaselton down to Neville. Neville taking a shot. Didn't realize she didn't have the puck. Nearly knocked down. Now she's knocked down. Just after Weasel and Weasel, and as you said, those two work hard as a team. There's proof. Weaselton now coming up. Puck slipped out. Takes a bit of a weak shot. Passed up along by the Blue Jackets. Weaselton now up to Elizabeth. Chipped out from her stick. But Elizabeth is right there to pick it back up again. Got a blue jacket on her ass. In comes Bobby taking the shot. So blue jacket in. Long goose just swapping family stories. Need for frustrations to get any higher. Referee nearly getting himself involved. A quick shot and caught by Cougar, who sends it back out, but it's not picked up. Monkeys have one job. Well, they have several jobs. In fact, they have jobs outside of this job. Wilson crossing the line. It's all alone for Columbus. Blue Jackets around him. Panics. Takes, shoots it out. I think he just saw netting and just acted. Whiskers with the puck. Managing to get it out. Ken Rill, the elf who can, passes down to Wilson. Wilson's going to get him close. Does not manage to get a shot in. Quick pass up to Violence John, up to Gilly Cat. Gilly Cat going to try it. No. Is he trying to snipe it in? Quick attempt there by Ken Rill. Another slap shot. And at this point, the crowd is just waiting for anyone to score. You hear them even cheering on the mongoose here, but we don't need their cheers. We don't need their cheers. And we don't like their beers. Buck goes high. Lucky fan going home. Another face off as we are down to the final quarter of this period. Attempting a shot earlier. Stick was caught in the ville. Passes out to Feldbaum. Up to Weaselton. And it just floats along. Up to sent out. Weaselton. Large scuffle. Everyone now finally spreading out. In comes Columbus. 
And Cougar takes a dive right out of the net. Cougar basically telling his fellow monkeys, if you're not going to get this job done, then I'm going to do it for you. Not the first time he's done that. No siree, Bob. Almost could have had a breakaway. Bellbaum takes the shot off the pads. Quinn now passes it back. Passing around so fast I can barely keep up. Pass it slower, you idiots. Very close game here, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes, 30 seconds left of the first period. No score thus far. Mongeese taken down. Columbus coming up. Almost chipped away. Cougar managing to hold on. There's a little play with the puck. Tosses in the air. Good job, Cougar. Angel winning out the face off there. Up to Gilly Cat. He's not holding for long. Bobby Gilly Cat. Ultimately taken by the. No! Again, another scuffle. And it's Whiskers. Down to Angel. Angel coming up. Angel all alone, wondering where the hell the other monkeys are. I guarantee you there's going to be another brawl in the back. In the monkeys' locker room. Unless they can get a damn goal. 36 and a half seconds left with this one. Passes down, Balance John, Fatso. And again, referee blows the whistle. Puck held on. Another face off. Just change things up. We're going to have it in a higher zone. Let the people in the other seats get a close up view with the face off. 10 seconds left. Near the buzzer, the count almost so close. Taking a shot, misses entirely as we exit the first period and enter this second period. Score a very impressive zero to zero. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to the second period. Score, as you said at the end of the first, zero to zero. Will the, we go through another period with no goals? It very well happened, Violence John. Got a close up, but could not get it in. Superstar now passes up to Dennis Fatso. Dennis Fatso passing along. Violence John, superstar. Just a three way pass now. But they think they're the only players in this game. Finally to Neville. Back to Violence John. Back to Superstar. Superstar to Neville. And held on. Dropping the puck. 
Columbus wins out on that one. Coming in strong. Takes a shot. Could not get it done. Dennis Vetso passes down to Quinn. Quinn coming up. Bit of a pincher attack. Manages to get back hold. Passes it out. Brooch. And Quinn. Brooch again. Just hear from Cougar. He was saying, "I scored 15 goals by now." Superstar to Grouch and Quinn Whiskers. Whiskers takes the shot, and again held on. Excellent. 20 seconds of hockey play. Now here's 15 minutes of commercials brought to you by the NFL. Pass down. Quick pass up. In comes Columbus. The whiskers all alone. But no, not for long. Elizabeth now. And no. Thomas managed to get a hold, but shoots in behind the net. Off the post. And Columbus still trying to keep it strong, keep it strong on their end. And Elizabeth just right there, right time, right place. Up to Whiskers. Whiskers could finally, no. Whiskers could not finally get a goal in this game. There's too much to ask for. He's just a cat after all. And comes Whiskers. Not get it done. Could not get it done. Perfect attempt there for the for Columbus. <laughs> Hill now. Superstar. And Dennis Fatso. Superstar now getting the puck back. No, Superstar again getting the puck back. No attempts. Superstar. Superstar could go all the way. The 10, the 20, the 5, the 4, the 3, the 15. The score by Dennis Fatso. The first goal is by the slowest competitor. With several assists. We are up, ladies and gentlemen, one to nothing. So Columbus now behind by one. But Columbus with a breakaway. Got three monkeys on the way. Excellent attempt, but not to be. Fatso with the puck again. Let's see if we can make another score, but no, up to Grouch. And Grouch taken down. The Monkeys know they should not be resting on their laurels at this point. They were up against Seattle just last week, but Seattle making the comeback and making it strong. And given how even things were in the first period, See what Columbus has in store here. Trying with a nice backhand shot, but sent over the net. Kendrell passes along to Angel. Angel shoots it up. Going to make Columbus work for it. Gilly Cat coming, but Gilly Cat surrounded. Can't get it all the way. Just make them work for it. And 
And Cougar holds on. Face-off, will Superstar manage to get it this time? Manages to do so, passes back to Whiskers. Back to Superstar, who's taken out in the corner. And Weasel's in, coming in strong. Up to Neville. Passes it around behind, but Weasel's in, not there to pick it back up. Go Mongeese. Get some defense going. In comes Whiskers. McWeasel's in taking it. Takes the shot. Misses. Thomas coming along. And Bobby picks it up. Bobby up to wing. Over to Elizabeth. Whiskers picks it up again. Back to wing. Down to Wilson. Wilson comes in. Off the pads. He was making the attempt, but could not get past Wilson. Again, wing coming in. Takes the shot. Misses. Elizabeth back to wing. Elizabeth there to balance John. Wing again. Wilson. Overshoots. And they're way beyond the halfway point of this second period. Seven minutes left. Trying to charge Cougar. Another attempt. Another attempt. Too many mongoose in the way. It's the Mongeese fur screen. I'm pretty sure Mongeese have fur. In fact, I'm certain of it. It is the Mongeese way after all. The Mongeese way to have fur. Look good. Pick up dates. Visit the Mongeese nightclub. And another face-off. Quick attempt, but blocked out. And again, held on. attempt and ooh, almost we're actually gonna get a little more than two seconds left or two seconds of play rush man to pick it up takes the slap shot misses oh up to Oliver and again a score I think grudge kind of just nudged it of course, we're not going to get any highlights there. Because why would we? Another score by the Fighting Mongeese, as he said, I think. Also, just sort of nudged it. There's a shot by Oliver. Anyway, we are now back with some more Mongeese action following another face off. Columbus now has a bit of a mountain to climb, but they still have an entire period in which to climb. They've yet to find any way to get past the defenses of Cougar. Will he survive the third period? It's 
And well documented that Cougars third period is not his best. And for good reasons. But still, compared to any other goalie. Elizabeth coming in close. Comes around, passes down to Dennis Fatso. Neville taking the shot and I'm sorry, that was Wilson. Longy shocked by that one. And face off in the middle. Zooming around, zooming around. More zooming around. Trying to wait for that Mongeese opening. The Mongeese are not going to create one. Another attempt. Wilson from behind. And again, held on. Is coming in. Swiftness. It's Fatso who stops them. The perfect offensive fan. And again, caught as we enter the final minute of play here. Seconds left. There's Fats on out for the Grouch. Quit now, Bounce John. 20 seconds left. And Columbus goalie is destined to make this period last as long as he can. Ten seconds left to play. Columbus is going to have enough time to take one final shot. Takes the shot and held on by a Cougar who just will not let this period end himself. That is the end of it, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, that would have been the perfect time to see the replay as we are entering the third, third period, two to nothing. gentlemen the final period between Columbus and Regina score 2 nothing for the fighting mongies can the fighting mongies hold on to this lead can they increase it well certainly about to try Start coming in from behind. Weasel's in. Now Columbus trying to come up. Fortunately, the Monkeys forming a bit of a edge. There they go. Columbus entering the board. 
There's no glass protecting this dinger. Look at all this celebrations. Do the monkeys get any such celebrations? Of course not. Said. Third period is not Cougars' best. This may be a bad sign. Longies will have to pick up their pace. And of course, Columbus is not slouched and a quick breakaway. Great effort for there for the for Columbus, but. It was not to be. Backhanded shot misses. No one there for Columbus to pick up the puck. Quinn coming in, but sandwich between Columbus. Managing still to get it out to Grouch. Elizabeth all alone, surrounded. Managing to get it out of there. Up to Bobby. Bobby to Fatso. Fatso to him. Oh, back to Fatso. Monkey's just waiting for that opening. But the longer they try it, at least the longer they wait. The more attempt, or the more chances that Columbus is going to get it, as we saw. Wilson coming up. It's two on one. Manages to get past him and held on. And in comes Columbus. Another attempt. Cougar passes up to Bobby. Bobby the Gilly Cat. With that, a cat dog passing it to a cat, trusting a cat to do the job. I'm still making the effort, not get it done. Those having to gain some distance, get some. Monkeys in the rear view mirror, as it were. Monkeys holding on strong. And a 2 1 lead could take them to a victory. They'll be going home. Will they be going home with their heads held high or hung low? Or about average? A victory here would just bring them out to about average. Maybe a little low. They did kind of get their asses kicked last week by Seattle. Just out of making the save for Cougar. Measles in. Coming along. Sad of taking the shot. Misses. There, just at the right time. Passes up to Whiskers, over to Quinn. Quinn to Grouch, Grouch coming in, takes the shot, misses, blocked doesn't mean. Well, missing and blocked is kind of the same when you think about it. Either one means that they didn't get it in. There's an attempt by Columbus. A backhand attempt, but no monkeys. For Cougar. A 
Miss Winnie Young on there, takes the shot again, and Cougar says, my puck. Thanks for giving it back. Another attempt, another attempt. And snatched up in the air, passed out to Sada. Sada down to Elizabeth, gets it going. It's up to Wang. Takes the attempt. Elizabeth now with another shot. We're less than halfway through this third period. Score still two to one. But Columbus knows that Cougar is not a machine. He is a man. He can bleed. Of course, they should have known that all along. Even that Cougar sucks in the third period. But he's doing all right there, ladies and gentlemen. Elizabeth passes it up to Wang. Wang almost gets it in, but no dice there. Jack is setting up, takes the shot. Wilson coming, stopped and pushed back. Perfect opportunity there for Columbus, but Dexter, or sorry, Cougar. Oh, Dexter, first name. I think Cougar just passes right back to Columbus saying, try again. Now comes Gilly Cat. Just kind of poked out from him. So they took a huge offense to that. Down comes, no. Down does not come, Columbus. Columbus is going to have to come back again. Columbus chips it up, and Cougar just catches it. Let's hopefully calm down here. And face off went out by the Blue Jackets and Columbus. Now having to watch the puck being sent almost towards the net. Chipped out from Columbus is now to have go back on the defensive. Bit of a scuffle. Who's gonna get it? And Columbus wins out on that one. Cross the line coming close. Dennis Fatso stealing it out from under them. As we are less than five minutes away. Of this period and this game's potential ending. Assuming that Columbus does not gain another point. Putting it to a potential overtime. Columbus passes it on up ahead. Columbus and Mongoose. Mungie's tripped out there. Quinn fighting back. Coming in. Another scuffle. It's been taken out by Columbus. And Bobby circles around, finally passes out to Grouch. Oliver there to pick it up. Back to Quinn, back to Grouch. Quinn being a team player, did not take the shot herself. They come back to bite the mongoose in the ass on that one. Another attempt. Quinn coming in, Neville. Columbus crossing the lines. 
Slap shot attempt. But that one did miss. Another shot, and Cougar is there to hold on. Just a minute and a half left of this period of this game again, potentially. Another score by the Mongeese would cinch it. Just trying to play out the clock now. Slap shot attempt misses. Allows the puck to go wild. As we enter the last minute of this. Can Columbus tie it up? Will we be going into overtime? Don't you dare scroll down to see. Can't keep such things hidden. And we're dividing everything up by time. And another goal on an empty net. Weaselton cinches it. A little bit of passive celebration there. That's what happens when you lose faith in your goalie. We'll now see the Monkeys will indeed go home happy when they go and they meet Tampa. Another attempt and the goalie was pulled for a second time. What is going on, Columbus? And yes, with a final score of three to one, the Mongies prove that they are indeed fighty. Taking another victory here, the Mongies will finally go home to Regina victorious when they take on and welcome Tampa Bay. You won't want to miss that one, ladies and gentlemen. That one will be coming to you next week. For now, good night from Mongies Hockey.